Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. I don't really have a plan for this video, but since I've not been on here for like two weeks, I think I figured it was just time to sit down and film something. So this is gonna be really informal. As you saw from the title, this is just gonna be like a life and business update, I guess. Sorry, I got super worried that my mic wasn't on, but it was. Okay, so most of you guys probably already know this, but last week we had the relaunch of the Limea brand collection, and it was really exciting, but also, very exhausting. We had hundreds upon hundreds of pre-orders to ship out, and then we also had our launch night orders. So we waited until all the pre-orders were done, and then we had our launch night, and then it was just like just two weeks of a lot of shipping. And in the midst of all that, we also had just about every single problem that could have happened happened to us. And I'm not gonna get into all of it today just cause I don't want this video to be super long, but you should definitely come follow me over on Instagram on my personal account, as well as the TSM account, which I will have down in the description box because that's where I like to just kind of update you guys and do kind of informal story time videos about stuff that's happening with the business and with me. Um, so if you missed those on my Instagram stories, I'm sorry, I, maybe if for another day, I'll do a story time video here about just all of the chaos that went on the last two weeks related to technology failures, um, vendors that we work with having problems, just like just everything, everything that, that could have gone wrong, it absolutely did. But we made it through and we're here on the other side of it now and feeling super good about it. The cool thing this time about this launch, and I feel like no one ever really believes me when I say this, but I do not enjoy selling out on launch nights. It makes me upset because A, I hate seeing you guys feeling sad that you didn't have fastest fingers and you missed out on something. B, I feel embarrassed because what it actually means is that I still don't like have my numbers dialed in. I am chronically, um, I am a chronic self doubter when it comes to how many people want to experience my brand. Uh, and I just always, I miss it and we sell we sell out way too fast. And so this time I put myself out there. I took a little bit of a risk. I ordered way more than I thought we were going to need and we only sold out of two products. Um, and I'm going to be getting those back in stock soon. I promise I don't have a date yet, but those will be coming back, but everything else is still fully in stock, which means if you want to come to the Sensible Mama and buy a Limea brand bag, you can get it. You can get it today and it'll ship same day if you order before 1 p.m. Eastern and next day if you order after. So I'm really excited. And what I appreciate a lot is that during the whole pre-order process, and I was talking to you guys over on the Sensible Mama Chatorama on Facebook about how much to order. And so many of you were like, Amber, order more than what you think, put more into production than what you think, because you always underestimate it. And, um, you guys scared me with that, but I did listen. And now we're in great shape. Despite having hundreds of orders on launch night, we are still good. So I am really excited and just, um, really happy with where Limea is and where the sensible mama is. It just feels really good. And so one of the things that I want to do is just thank you guys while I'm here because none of this would be possible without you guys. I've talked on this channel a lot about my history and the evolution of this business and this brand. And like I've said before, this started as really just like a hobby jobby. It was something that I was like, this will keep me busy while I'm you know, raising my baby and uh, it'll give me something to do with my mind and let me feel like a part of a community. And I just never really saw it taking off the way that it has. But if you had told me back then when I was living in this tiny little apartment, which thankfully had a garage attached, that was the one great thing about that apartment where I was fulfilling orders out of my garage and making trips to the post office to go drop off your orders. Like if you had told me back then that one day I would have an office space with a playroom in it for my kids and my employees' kids and a full huge warehouse and my own brand and getting to create jobs in my community and outside of my community through remote working. It's just, I never would have believed it and I never would have thought that it was possible for me to get there. And it's, I'm only there because of you guys. And, um, and I know some of you will feel tempted to say down in the comments, like, well, but it's because of your talent and your drive and how hard you work. And I get it. Like, yeah, that's all part of it. But if you guys stopped shopping at the sensible mama, 
my talent and my drive and my hard work, it would all still be here, but it wouldn't matter because no one would be shopping. <laughs> so I am just really thankful and appreciative to you guys and very humbled that you've been along with me on this journey all this time because some of you have been here since the beginning. Now, speaking of that, um, I know a lot of you actually found me because of this YouTube channel and that's really special to me. But I feel like an evolution of this channel is necessary at this point just because I can't always be doing packing videos. For one, they're pretty ornate. They're pretty, they're like, what's the word? They're very time intensive. And now that I'm, I, we're still kind of on quarantine where I am. Like I've told you before, my husband is immunocompromised. We're not really going a lot of places, which is also stifling my creativity in terms of how to pack a bag. So I've been asking in the Sensible Mama Chatterama and um, over in our Facebook group, like what kind of content you guys would like to see, maybe what I could be doing on this channel to mix it up and do things that are still very relevant to me and to you, but that might not necessarily include packing videos. So I have a few ideas and I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. One of them is that I would like to change my Friday upload to being a live stream instead. I do go live twice a week in the Sensible Mama Chatterama on Facebook, but I don't do a live over here. And I do kind of like some of the chat functionality and features that this has. And in particular, I like that once I live stream here, you can rewatch it anytime. It's very easily accessible, whereas it's kind of hard to find a past live on Facebook. And I figured maybe we could pick a topic every Friday. Maybe it could be related to, you know, answering questions about diaper bag packing. Maybe it could be talking about issues related to motherhood and we could just have a conversation together because I feel like everything about social media from an like the perspective of an influencer is that it's one-sided. Like just like right now, I'm just sitting here talking nobody's talking back to me. Um, so I feel like maybe doing a live stream on Fridays might be a little bit more fun and engaging and a way for us to have a two way conversation because I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to miss out on that. And I feel like I do when I'm just cranking out videos by myself every week. So that's number one. Number two, I am on like a little bit of a self growth journey, if you will. Um, and I kind of want to bring you guys along with that because I am making just some very serious self-realizations about just some parts of me and the way I conduct myself and the way I let people treat me and the way that I treat others that needs work and it needs growth. And I'm very proud to be at a point in my life where I'm able to recognize that and shift and make some changes. And I kind of want to bring you guys along on that because I feel like the best time to teach someone else how to make these kinds of changes are when you're making them in the moment. Because later on, like when you've already made the changes and you're better, um, you kind of have maybe lost touch with what it was like back then when you were going through it. And although when you do it and talk about it in hindsight, you definitely are more experienced and you can speak about it from a, just a, a wiser perspective. I do think that if you're not living through it in that moment, you just can't relate as well to the people who are going through it. So to kind of list some of the things that I want to talk about is setting boundaries. I feel like as moms, we are just sort of like told that we're not supposed to have boundaries. We're not supposed to have them with our spouses. We're not supposed to have them with our children. Um, you know, we're supposed to just kind of let our families be our whole world. And I'm not saying that that's wrong, but what I mean is when you become a mom, all of a sudden society seems to want you to believe that you are secondary to everything. And in a lot of ways you are. Obviously you can't choose to do all the things you wanna do when you have little kids who need you. But I do think that there's a very toxic message out there towards moms and uh, honestly towards women who aren't moms too, but that's a whole other side of the story. But as moms, I feel like we're just constantly inundated with this message that we're not allowed to put ourselves first sometimes. We're not allowed to have boundaries. We're not allowed to reject advice from people that is unhelpful and harmful to us. And I feel like I've been I've been guilty of that. And some of you maybe have seen it here on YouTube and also in the chat Rama on Facebook. I've always kind of had this idea that like well, we'll teach people how to treat us. We'll teach people and we'll give people second, third and fourth chances because it's a journey and we're educating them. 
And in so doing, I have sort of established a precedent. I've set an example that it's okay to just let people walk all over you or walk all over other people that you care about because you're trying to like help the person who's being horrible to you or to others. And I have received that criticism before. I And I acknowledge it. I accept that criticism that sometimes I have erred on the side of the person who was causing harm because I was so interested in trying to help the person who was hurting others that I made the people who were getting hurt feel like, well, <laughs> what about me? And I can see that in all areas of my life. It's just like almost pushing out a toxic level of kindness, the kind of kindness that knows no boundaries. And I heard a quote the other week that said, kindness without boundaries is foolishness. And I was like, ha ha, I was supposed to hear that today. So all that to say, I'm, I'm, I want to work on establishing boundaries. I want to work on having more self-worth. And I think that when you look at someone like me who is living my life as publicly as I am, you probably think I have a lot of self-worth, but I think a lot of people who put themselves out there in front of the public eye struggle with self-worth. And if we're being brutally honest, probably a lot of us are here because we are, we're seeking validation. We are seeking to be told that we are liked and we are worthy and we are accepted. And it doesn't matter how much, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Whew, it doesn't matter how much of that acceptance and that warmth and that, that, that validation that we get, the one person who comes along and invalidates us or makes us feel unworthy or unacceptable shatters us. And I, I don't think that I'm alone in that. And I don't think that it's just influencers who deal with that. And I want to have this rock solid self-worth. I want to have the kind of self-worth that someone could come along and insult me or say something bad about me that I know to be untrue of me. And to just be able to say, that's not me. That's not who I am. Are you okay? Because that's not me. And still be the kind of person who can accept real criticism when I need it. To not shut out everything because that's when you become arrogant. To not shut out everything, but to really learn how to recognize the difference between someone who's just here to bring me down versus someone who's here because they care and they want to help me be better. And that's what I want to work on. So I'd kind of like to start doing some content here on this channel that is, am I in focus? I don't think so. Um, that's directed towards helping us all get to that place in our journeys. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because to me, this is a very, just a very meaningful time in my life. I'd like to do that journey with you and I'd like to bring you along with me because even just my conversations with some of you lead me to believe that you could use this too. Um, I have some big things coming up. We have new products for Limea that we're testing out that we'll be revealing sometime in the near future. We do have a holiday mini launch that we will have closer to the holiday season. We have lots of big things coming up. And now that I have real like help in the warehouse and in customer service and all like that, I'm excited about having more opportunities to engage with you guys because for a long time I've been so underwater, so drowning that I just haven't been able to engage with you guys the way that I want to. So um, this is an open discussion. This is something that I would love to have a conversation with you about in the comments. So I'm just going to open it up to you. Let me know your thoughts on kind of what I've discussed today about the future of this channel, ideas that you may have, I'd love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. I'll be responding to all the comments here. Um, and just let me know. I'm excited about what's ahead. And um, again, I just thank you guys. And I love you. Mwah. Oh my gosh, have I forgotten how I sign off my YouTube channel? Love ya, mean it, always. Mwah. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.